Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. So currently we're working with a client who has their father in intensive care with inotropic or vasopressor support such as norepinephrine or noradrenaline as well as adrenaline or epinephrine. And that inotropic or vasopressor support has been maxed out. Um, and you know, that is certainly not a good thing. So the family is asking what's going to happen next. Well, the reality is that if inotropic or vasopressor support is maxed out, your loved one may be as close to death as they ever will get be. And if inotropes or vasopressors can't be reduced, um, you know, uh, things are looking pretty grim, especially if the inotrope or vasopressor doses are at the maximum level of support. So the family is asking, or our client is asking, are there any alternatives? Well, there are some alternatives depending on the situation. In this situation, the client, the client's father is septic, so is in septic shock, has an infection uh, through a necrosis. And, you know, the alternative is obviously treating the infection with antibiotics, but also giving some fluids to begin with. But this particular client is in kidney failure. So dialysis at the moment is not an option because blood pressure is too low to start dialysis at such high levels of inotropes or vasopressors. So unfortunately, there is no alternative um, treatment available, despite cranking up the vasopressors and inotropes. And if they reach a certain level, you know, your loved one is unfortunately going to approach the end of life. So, you know, that's the, the bad news. So major forms of life support in intensive care, just to recap, is obviously mechanical ventilation. And then next it's vasopressor, vasopressor and inotropic support. Those are the two major forms of life support in intensive care. And if, again, vasopressors or inotropes are maxed out, uh, you know, this could be a real end of life situation. So that's my tip for today. If you have a loved one in intensive care and you need help, please give us a call on one of the numbers on the top of the website at intensivecarehotline.com or send me an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com. Like this video, comment down below what questions that you have and subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com and I'll talk to you in a few days.